today we're going to talk about a right arm throwing action and for most golfers that I meet they always are after some sort of feeling that they can take towards the golf course to help them improve and quite often what you tend to find for right-handed golfers they're right hand dominant now that's not the case I know some golfers and I teach some golfers that are lead arm dominant so this type of video probably won't relate and I understand that there's a smaller proportion of you who are left-handed so try and use your trail and lead arm as, as a point of reference but we're really going to be talking about this trail arm throwing action and the sort of feeling that you can try and incorporate in towards your golf swing. Now, first of all, the one reason why I'd suggest that it's beneficial to have a feeling of throwing the club is because it keeps the swing moving with fluidity. So what sometimes happens with golfers is when you start identifying when you video your swing that you're not in a decent position at certain points in time, that you end up sort of rehearsing all of these positions in, in quite a deliberate fashion, but this saturates all that freedom and rhythm them away from you so I think having a, a sort of sense of liberty and just like I'm throwing the club in the direction where I want to hit the golf ball is is good and like I say very very liberating so but what we need to understand is we, we've still got to structure it all pretty well so let's talk about a, a couple of things that are very important first and foremost let's talk about the impact position so when we hit the golf ball what should happen is we should end up in an impact position which would look something like this. So you can see the way my trail arm is still bent, okay, so it's not straightened. Um, my hands are ahead of the club head and if you like my body's sort of just cleared a little bit out of the way so there's a triggered a bit of rotation there as well. Now that's key and then if we go into a post impact position what we're looking for is something like so where the pelvis has moved again towards the target, my head stays still pretty focused on the back of the ball and my right arm would have, shall we say, rolled over my left giving us that sort of natural release that sort of whipping look through the golf ball so those are the things that have to come into play so when we start talking about a throwing action what is not acceptable is throwing the club like so and then you end up in an impact position which looks like this because that just won't work so how do we stop those things from from happening well Let's remove the club for a moment and let's just try and focus a little bit on some, some body positions. So one of the first things that we need to understand is the importance of our tilt. So the tilt is the relationship, if you like, of the, of the spine. So some people want to call it side bend, whatever you want to call it, but let's keep it simple and just reference tilt. So in the backswing position, I would be a strong advocate of people just rotating around that tilt. Now, from here, what should be your sort of first move in the downswing, reference the body, is a rotation towards the lead side whilst maintaining that tilt. So you can see the way I'm still demonstrating that tilt here. Now, you do this by shifting the pelvis towards your lead side and you keep your head relatively still. And doing this, can you see the way my trail shoulder, if I put my hand here, is starting to drop down. Now, if I moved like this, it would be acceptable for me to throw. And the reason why is because my right arm would still stay bent because my shoulder is lower to the ground. If I move like this, which is a very common amateur problem, which is basically where you can see I've no longer got the tilt, so then what will start to happen is if I was to throw the club from this position, it would end up in a very poor impact position. So what I would always propose is that, you know, if you, you're somebody who wants to fire that trail hand through, then first of all, sort of just practice turning back and then keeping that head still as you shift the pelvis or if you like shift your weight towards the lead side because moving like so is going to create that sort of tilt which then means of course you can fire that trail arm through again can't be moving this way which is what tends to happen for most amateur problems so what does that mean in a little bit more detail well i would say that there's a lack of linear motion okay so when we're moving more this way where the shoulder comes over that's because golfers are trying to trigger a lot of rotation like so but they're not moving enough towards that lead side so that's what i would be suggesting so if you're somebody who is been rehearsing positions so you kind of trying to do things like you know drink bring drag the club down and stuff like this in you know, like like so then you're going to find that you're going to lose that sort of fluidity so with a lot of my students that I work with online, I tend to go through quite a deliberate process. That the first one that I'm after is an element of conscious competence. Okay, so that would be like the drill that I've just demonstrated. So I'd ask a student to mimic that drill, record it and send it to me. If they can demonstrate this motion correctly, as I demonstrated earlier, then I know that that person understands it. 
what you tend to find is they don't really you tend to find that golfers still do this sort of stuff these sort of habits so once you can do this then you're going to be in a position where you can incorporate that type of move and then that way you're going to have a swing thought that you can take to the golf course if you're somebody who's working on static positions you're going to find that it's going to be really difficult transferring that range session to the golf course and that's just not something that i'd be advocating so throwing the club is really just a feeling of liberating and if you turn the club upside down sort of just whipping the club through a very natural sort of motion that you would tend to find most people would generally coordinate pretty well but like i say what you don't want to be doing is throwing it if you end up moving like this because that's just going to lend itself to a very poor impact position what we're trying to do is more this way shifting that pelvis to the lead side keeping the head on the back of the ball then of course it's completely acceptable to get that feeling of really whipping that club through. See you guys again really soon.